Hello, I'm Entrilism, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. That's Democratic Denmark. Uh, we're at war as part of the Allies against the German Reich. Uh, France fell, and that's resulted in us getting pushed back quite heavily, despite the fact we made it almost to Prague. We're now holding on for dear life. Berlin is only a small step away. Um, we do have some of the Netherlands, though. In hindsight, if we'd pushed down towards France and pinced moved the German army, I'd give us about a 30% chance that we'd have managed to save France. We could have done it. I don't think the odds were particularly high because we don't have many forces and they were pushing France pretty heavily at the time. And whether we'd have got there in time and been able to beat the Germans, that's the question. Uh, but it, it would have been the safer option, whereas we tried to go for glory and then France fell. Uh, so, how are we going to save this? Well, firstly, I think we have to cancel our coup against Turkey. And I know we've got loads invested in this. We've got 120 political power invested already. We need to put in another, what, 80? Which is going to take 160 days. However, if we have a look at equipment, we have 4,200 infantry equipment currently going to Turkey. And we need that. I mean, look at our reinforcements. To reinforce, we need uh, about 22,000, 23,000. This would really help. It's 20% of what we need. And frankly, we're not pushing. A coup in Turkey is not going to do us any good because the coup is not going to be strong enough to beat the fascist part. Um, it might help the Soviet Union a touch, but it's not going to really relieve any stress on us. So we're going to cancel staging the coup. And I think we get some back. We'll see. Does it jump up? Mm, I don't know. I think we got them back. Uh, yeah, reinforcement needs to be the priority. Uh... Oh, one other thing we need to do. Right, uh, so our cavalry brigades. We need to edit them so they don't get equipment. We would like to put you as reserve so you get equipment last. That's really important. Because right now they're actually eating up equipment meant for everyone else and not them. And they're eating up a fair share of it. Uh, what else? Okay, so the Germans are trying to encircle us down here. I think what we could do is do a breakout. If we can try and capture some parts of France. France will want to send any troops it's got left over. I don't know how many it's got left. But it will want to defend its territory. As you can see, this happened with um, the Netherlands and so on, Belgium. Uh, really, mostly just Belgium. They've actually got forces there. Because when you take their territory back, they really want to defend it. And it's understandable. That's a two fort. We could probably take that. It's only mechanized. Um, so what we do is we're going to try and break out down here. Hold on to clone just about. I'm tempted to say we lose clone. One of you need to go to Essen because we're currently having some issues over there. Uh, you are okay defending that for the moment. No, I'll follow you back to Dortmund. There's no point in you taking losses where you don't need to. I will fall you back. What are you defending? It's like just empty space. No forts. Okay, fall back. I'm going to try and save this moment where we can. I don't know if we can, but we'll try. No. Oh, oh, no. They've stopped their attack. Might be able to save it. Iffy. I really need some more troops around here. Counterattack you. I think we've got a good chance there. Concentrate back on the breakout. Yeah, it's going to be micromanagement for the moment. Ooh, ooh. Dunkirk is undefended. Yes. Finally, the British are sending troops over, I think. Oh, excellent. The breakout is starting to work. Just need to keep this up. And ideally, the US needs to get involved. I mean, in fact, the US could lend lease me. They're not. I don't know why the AI doesn't seem to want to do Lend-Lease. It really should. Yeah, we're not doing particularly well here now. It's all for this one motorized division. I'm not sure it would be entirely worth it if we're completely honest. We're trying our best. They are defending very well. i got to give them the credit for that. Wait, why are we advancing with cavalry? You're not meant to be advancing. You're meant to... I don't even know why. 
Okay. Yeah, you're going to get destroyed. You're on three. You're out of fuel. Yeah, okay. Well, it happens. Um, I'm going to grab Calais. They haven't positioned enough forces to defend against this because they've got an assault going on over there, so they're too busy. That's low organization. We'll attack. We'll do a multi-pronged attack here to keep the pressure on. We don't have the manpower in the organization to keep this one up, but if this is successful... Yeah, they're sending troops around now. We just need to keep advancing and managing to hold the land. That's the important part. Concentrated industry. Lovely. What year is it? What year is it? Uh, 42. So we can get weapons 3. Mm, or we could get this, which is quicker. Support weapons. I'm not sure, but they generally feel like a better option to me. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, don't capture that. Let him walk. Let him walk. Let him walk. Go, 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 go. Close the gap. We can encircle. Look how many forces they're bringing back from this front over here. We might actually succeed in doing this push. Yeah, they took Dresden. Now it's to be expected. It was, in fact, inspected. Like, I'll be completely honest. I, I called it. I said they were going to take Dresden. Um, need to hold on to Stettin. That's very important for us. Might go down to two times speed. Oh, my God. Two times speed? All right, let's just watch the border. Yeah, let's pull you back. I don't really fancy holding on to just a random piece of land. The reason I want this encirclement is it brings it very close to Paris. You're poorly defended, your organization's terrible, and you are on a two bunker. I would love that. Uh, if we could have, I'd have loved to break down to Metz, because if we get the Alsace region, all of this apart from the aer aerodrome is 10-10-4. Like, this would be amazing to get, but we'd have to push down there, and that'd be tough. No, I want you here, because I want you to push here. Come on. Come on. We can catch that. What's going over here? Um, oh, wait, you're moving out. Wait for you to move out. Wait for you to move out. Uh, 12 hours. Okay, we'll come back in 12 hours. Still holding on to Berlin. Haven't got a province here completely undefended. Whoopsie. But sure. I love the fact that the US is getting really involved right now. One unit who landed really far from the action. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. They are worried now about this section here. Okay, keep up the pressure. Yes, keep sending me more troops. Wait, where are those troops going? Oh, for God's sake. Come on. We've lost 10,000 in the last few days alone. Yeah, look at this. This area over here is... We've relieved the pressure over here quite a lot. Help defend there. Call to arms. Against. I'm pretty sure I was in this fight already, but whatever. Sure. Oh, 
Come on, it's Turkey and... What's this, like, Slovakia or someone? I can't tell. Just keep landing me troops. I don't know why I've got troops over here, but sure. Okay. I really want to use the arm experience, but I'm not sure what I'd use it for. Upgrading tanks. Well, I'm not producing any right now. Well, I am producing very minimal. If we have a look at our production. Uh, in between episodes, I switched over to just infantry equipment because that's what we need. Oh no, we need 2,000 artillery. I mean, eh. Compared to the, like, infantry equipment, which we're massively down on. I will put it up the top, so that'll get filled next. And I will put a little bit in, but... It's not the priority. I mean, I never realized I said it's not the priority and I put it at the top, but you know what I mean. 16, right, hi, 17 British units. You want to help out? I know to find a valid path. How about you just attack the guy next to you? That would be really helpful. Why are you even attacking? I'm pretty sure I didn't tell you to do that. Holding on to clone still. Uh, yep, this is our time to take advantage. They'll probably get there before us. Not if we do this, though. Ha ha. It's kind of a dick move, but... Ah, oh, what? Attack from two angles. Um... Are you sure? This looks like a win-win. They've just left this entire front open. This is what we get for extending the front. It's working for us. I really wish I could get to Mets. It's not going to happen. This is a two bunker, which has been damaged to down to one bunker. Is it worth defending? I want to think it is. Clone, you should probably fall back. And you should help out in Essen, because we're going to lose Essen otherwise. Yeah, you don't need to advance. I guess you're advancing to keep him, like, in check. Which is fine. And now you've left that, we're going to grab Dresden. Thanks. Poor Dresden. Like, in, in history, right? It's the bombing of Dresden. Not quite yet, I think. But, oh, hello. Naval invasion. Well, thanks, Britain, for putting ten troops here. But would you like to actually get in the fight? Oh, dear. Deary me. 17 sitting there. I have no idea what they're up to. The AI is just crapped out for Britain. So let, let's just go through it. So there was a comment last uh, video, which I really was like, yeah, I feel this comment. Britain is stupid. And the US are lazy. I completely agree on that. At least we're mostly winning across the board. Yeah, if you move into Dresden, you're still really low health, so... Military police. Then I want to edit you and add military police. How much will that cost me? Infantry equipment, plus 40. So basically very little. And suppression goes up to... Meh. It's, it's worth it, just. Uh, also, infantry division. We can add something to this. So we can get support rocket artillery... Maybe. Uh, logistics company. Maybe. Manpower, motorized, and support equipment. Ah, that doesn't use infantry equipment. Maybe just that. Maybe just that. 
Okay, so what I might do, since I've got plenty of experience, is I'll probably put logistic company on for now, and then I'll put a support rocket artillery company on when we have it, to give them more attack. It got mentioned we could do anti-tank and stuff like that, but we are way behind in the research. We need something now, we don't need something in a year. If I'd planned ahead, maybe we should have gone anti-tank rather than tank, but I wanted to find out about tanks. And I, I went a little bit greedy. Um... Ooh, I want both. I want more entrenchment and I want... I think the entrenchment is what we need. And I will also start building a few rockets. You don't need many. Ah, oh, look at the amount of damage our stuff's taking in the fighting. And the bombing. How are we doing, by the way? Yeah, Eastern Germany is completely bombed to hell because the Allies aren't helping. We're good there, we're good there. We're good in general. The allies are really helping. But they don't seem to be basing any of the fighters out of air bases over here, from what I can tell. Oh, yeah, they are basing it out here, but not in my ones, which is weird. They're not basing it out of captured German airfields. They really should be. Or my airfields, God damn it! Encryption, lovely. I will do that, but not quite yet. What I want to do is... Improved rocket artillery. Ooh, advanced artillery. Yeah, advanced artillery. You can see the moving troops back now. They're not feeling the pressure quite as much, I think. So I've got to make them feel the pressure. Okay, we'll make him feel the pressure more. I don't think that's going to be successful, so we'll hold back. Really? You're going to counterattack instantly? It's a bit of a surprise. I don't know why you're attacking Dresden. You really should, uh... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, you want to move here? You want to move here? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, we managed to stretch this border up a little bit. Let's just hope we can defend it. Managed to capture that. Defending here, fine. The tank in Dresden, and tanks are notoriously bad at defending themselves with our infantry support. Oh, we're going to need support over here. I want to hold on to this area here because it puts pressure on Essen and Dortmund. Ooh, pardon me. And any more pressure I put on them is great. 14 hours. Uh, probably can hold out. Britain's still sitting there. 18 units. Dear God. What if our government... Um... Could go limited export. Mm, yes, probably worth it. However, I could instead just grab one of these, like Army Logistics, Division Attrition. That's pretty nice, I've got to admit. Military Staff, Attack, Defense. Right now, it's more about I need plus 10% defense. I would love that. Thank you very much. It's a shame. Normally I go for the attack, because normally I'm the proactive one, but right now I need to hold this line long enough. Germany are hurting themselves by hitting me repeatedly. Right. There we go. We managed to now threaten Leipzig, which is very useful. We've actually made a bit of ground over here, which is nice. How are we doing? Oh, that's a little bit. Okay, United States. Sure. Ballsy. Stupid, but ballsy. I'll keep one unit back. 
Keep one unit back. There we go. To go help out you. I'll divert attention away from my pushes over the other side. Counter push into Dortmund. They overwent with that. Uh, yep, they're falling back. Unless he gets pushing too hard. Right now, all I can do in France is just hold on. I don't actually have enough intel to find out what their units are. I need more recon companies. No template for towed rocket artillery. I know, I know. We're producing one a day. Well, yeah, we can do that. Right, if we move you up to here and you up to here, we might be able to do a pincer move here. At least that's what I hope. I don't know how strong this is. I'm just hoping it's... Because it's just one faction, right? It's not Germany, so it's not a big faction. Oh, we're pushing automatically. Okay. There we go. Now we're pushing from two sides. In fact, push straight ahead. Capture that province there. Yes. I think we got it. Prevent you from moving. Done. Now surrounded. Oh, and they're trying to break out. Oh, are we attacking them? I th actually know we're attacking them. Oh, we're so close to Paris. Get me that truck. They've probably got Paris defended. But it's worth a try. Come on, Paris. Oh, they don't have Paris defended. Wow. That's not clever. Also, why are you running there? You need to capture these two uh, towns. Rune and Le Havre. Paris is now ours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to counterattack in, but... Tanks don't do well in urban environments, and you're sending a tank against me into Paris. Yeah, it looks like this pocket's collapsing, which is great. How are we doing over here? Haven't made any real headway, but honestly, I am very pleased with not making headway. I was expecting getting pushed back. This has been a good episode. I thought we might have to start abandoning large chunks, but we've managed to hold on. It's cost us only 50,000 men. I mean, I say that. Oh, oh only 50,000 men died. I mean, that is a lot of people died. Um, actually, in this one context, saying 50,000 men died is about right, because only men can serve in the armed forces at this day and age. Uh, normally, I'd be like, whoopsie, that should be people. But no, no, that's right. Um, 50,000 people for holding Germany and inflicting quite a lot of damage on them when we are inferior and we're suffering massive issues because of a lack of guns, to be honest. I like only, it's not like only half of our people had guns at that stage. I'm not worried about this naval invasion for now because nothing seems to be happening with it. It might happen, in which case I'm kind of screwed. Uh, but for now, we seem to be doing just about okay. It would be lovely if the UK was actually going to bring these forces into play. The UK is literally doing nothing. I mean, it's doing the air power, right? Thank you for the air power. It's mostly Belgium who are actually helping out on the actual land. I mean, I guess that actually is beneficial to me because they're not capturing anything, and which means they're not getting victory points, whereas I think I'm the winner in the war. Wow, how stingy. The United States send one volunteer to Africa, New Zealand, Norway, United Kingdom, Canada. This is... Oh, I want to look involved, so I'm going to send everyone one unit. But I'm not actually involved. 
It's like, oh, I sent you a card at Christmas, so, you know, we're cool, right? It's like, dude, we're meant to be, like, buds. You just sent me a card? Like, I thought we were going to have, like, you meet up, have a pint. Nope. Okay. Uh, so what is this now? The German-French War, I think. German Reich is 41% towards capitulation. And I have 50% of the war so far. Australia's 21. Really? Oh. Huh. I guess the other percentages must add up, but it, they're very minor. Still, 50% of the war goal. We've lost 400,000. Oh. But Germany's lost 1.5 mil. Admittedly, they were involved in the war before we got involved. Uh, Hungary lost more than me. Legion Romania. Nash of Spain. Uh. But look at that. The United Kingdom's lost half of what I have. France, well, France has lost a lot. Okay, I'll give you that, France. Greece has lost more. Yeah, Greece is getting absolutely obliterated. They're holding on, though. I've got to give them that. They are very surprised, but Greece are holding on. Massive props from me. Um, over here, I think the Soviet Union is just about holding them off. But they have expanded in the last few episodes. I think, what, three provinces. But this episode, they haven't really moved, which is great. Worst case scenario, by the way, at the moment for me. Sweden joined the Axis and got involved in attack me. They probably won't. We're on good terms and they're democratic. But that'd be like worst case scenario for me. Uh, you're part of the Allies, are you, Norway? Yeah. But God damn it, United Kingdom... What an ass! What an ass! Also, the United States. But I've been really listening. If you've enjoyed, please like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Of course, until next time, when I think we might try and uh, consolidate our position, maybe even grab a few things. See if we can maybe do a loop around Frankfurt and Luxembourg. Although that's a fairly large loop, I think we've got to aim a little bit lower. Maybe we we'll just go for expanding through France a bit more. It extends our frontage, but we are getting more troops to help in the form of allies. Who don't do anything because they're idiots. Hmm. Oh well, stay shiny!